Hey folks, welcome to Future Privacy Forums Privacy TV. I think that's what we're going to call this. Um, since we enjoy doing it so much, hopefully you enjoy listening. Today we're going to talk about an announcement that Apple made. Uh, today was the first day of Apple's uh, worldwide developer conference, uh, the big event that they do where they announce a lot of the new features coming with new Apple products, um, new devices. Uh, and sometimes new privacy features, and that's what gets us all interested. So lots of developers are out there, programs and presentations are being put on. Um, so we only have some very top level information. One of the keynote speeches uh, helped uh, give a little bit of information about the new Safari. Now, we think this is the desktop Safari only, that might be important. So the new version of Safari, Apple says it's gonna be faster. Um, they say it's now the fastest browser. Um, but it has some new features that are interesting. One feature, um, probably not that controversial, probably uh, appealing to many uh, consumers. Um, many of us don't love it uh, when we go to a website and then the next thing you know, video is playing and your speakers are blasting and you didn't intend to, you know, in the middle of a meeting or something just because you were doing a little browsing or checking something out to all of a sudden have your uh, a video running on your, uh, on your computer. So, um, Safari is going to detect that and it's going to automatically disable so that if you want to watch the video, you watch it, but that video is going to automatically start running just because you hit the page. Okay, nice, no complaints. The other feature that certainly is going to create some debate, at least in the advertising world, uh, is something called intelligent tracking protection. And here's what Apple is going to do. Um, this is not ad blocking, first of all, right? Obviously ad blocking has been on the rise. Um, Facebook uh, a little while ago uh, announced that what it would do, uh, it doesn't want the ads on Facebook blocked. Facebook's view is you're not paying, we're giving you ads. Um, why should ad blockers block the ads? Uh, but what Facebook did was a little bit interesting. They didn't work around and prevent the ad blocker from working completely. They allow Adblock Plus, this ad blocker that was uh, focusing on Facebook ads, um, to block the tracking, right? They said, look, if people are using uh, ad blocking because they really want to have privacy, they don't like third party tracking. Okay, that's fair game, but at least let the ad get delivered so that the advertiser uh, and we get some revenue from showing the ad. Um, it got a lot of debate. We were supportive of that because we thought that that responded to privacy concerns without stripping uh, the ads uh, out of the publisher's uh, experience. So what Apple has done is a little bit different. Safari is gonna be using machine learning to determine which ads are actually uh, using third-party tracking tools, um, sharing perhaps your data with other parties, um, and it will be blocking the tracking. It will disable the tracking as it learns which ads are um, sending data to third-party trackers. So we don't have a lot of detail. We don't know, will they block analytics uh, or is it just certain kinds of tracking? Uh, a number of years ago, for those of you who go back um, to IE6, there was a beta version of IE6 that would block IP addresses, so the entire ad, right, from uh, any third-party that showed up more than 10 times in third party context. It said, if you show up 10 times uh, uh, as a third party, you, you're probably a tracker. And so they would block the entire thing. Now this was very controversial. Microsoft had just bought uh, a quantum, a big ad tech company. And people were like, hey, you're blocking ads. They ended up not including it um, in the final release, partially because it was a bit controversial, but partially also because it was a bit kludgy. Just because I show up 10 times in third party context doesn't mean I'm a tracker. I could be a content distribution network. I could be there um, helping manage and um, uh, track in order to successfully provide some embedded content. And nobody wants to go to a page where there's some gaping holes. So here, presumably, Apple is gonna use machine learning to better understand instead of having a hard and fast rule, uh, because it's not always easy to understand what third party simply simply happens to look like a third party, um, but it's actually carrying out a, a key function and that blocking it messes up the user experience. Nobody wants that to happen. Oh, or is this a third party that is enabling tracking? So now 
what does this mean for advertisers if you're on that side of the fence? So first of all, the ad gets delivered. So that's better than nothing, better than the ad not getting delivered. Um, of course, if you're getting paid based on being able to deliver and report on how the ad performs, well, that can be a problem. Now, remember this. Safari is the only browser that blocks third-party cookies by default already. So most of the folks who depend on ad tracking understand that they're not getting full data because of Safari, right? So who does it affect? The companies that were working around that Safari third-party uh, 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 um, uh, 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 cookie blocking, third-party cookie blocking. Did I say ad blocking? Third-party cookie blocking. The companies that were working around that uh, using various scripts or the like to set their third-party cookie in first-party context. Now, there are companies that do that with some notice, uh, letting people know if you don't like it, you can opt out. So exactly how they're impacted, um, I don't think we know. Um, there are, um, you, you could turn on third-party cookies. Um, so will Apple say, hey, these are people who want to allow that sort of tracking. Maybe somebody asked them or maybe uh, like me, they want to see what sort of tracking, what kind of experience is like. So not clear yet whether Apple will turn off the intelligent tracking protection for the people who enable third-party cookies, either because they're asked to or, or they've done it uh, uh, somehow. Um, we don't know. It looks like this is a desktop uh, tool right now. Now, again, advertisers who have depended on Safari have always understood that because of Safari blocking third-party cookies, they've had little bit less data and your numbers are never accurate. Apple does not have a major market share in the desktop world. And so this was something companies lived with. In the mobile world, obviously, the iPhone does have major market share. Android is obviously far more um, prevalent across lots of different kinds of platforms, but Android is a bigger factor. Um, and in addition, um, the uh, Safari browsers on the iPhone are the most attractive audience for advertisers. In the beginning, if you recall, many of these folks had to sign two-year contracts with um, AT&T and Verizon. So you're talking about people who have a credit card and who could um, uh, pass credit checks and who had the money to spend on two-year contracts. And even today, the iPhone is a premium uh, product. You can get you know, far cheaper phones um, than the iPhone. And so it's a very appealing audience. And there are studies that show that the Safari browsers over-index in folks that are actually buying things and doing commerce online. So um, Safari's blocking of third-party cookies uh, in mobile has been a challenge for our advertisers, and that's where there's been more of an issue of people working around, and it seems that Apple, using this new intelligent tracking protection, seems to be aiming at, um, at preventing that. So advocacy community reaction seems to be very positive. Um, um, advertisers, I think, are still trying to figure out what does it mean? Is it desktop only? Um, uh, uh, it delivers the ad. What, what is going to be stripped out? Will analytics still uh, uh, work? So interesting questions, but a uh, major privacy move for Apple. And uh, hopefully we've shared a little bit of detail. Um, we'll post one of the uh, stories um, that has popped uh, about this. And as Apple provides more information, they very often during the Worldwide Developer Conference um, do PowerPoints or one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with different developers who uh, talk through the new features. So maybe there'll be more detail. And of course, we'll be sharing it here. Anyway, um, welcome to, I guess, what we'll call our first edition of Privacy TV. Uh, and we look forward to um, hearing from you about the different topics that you would like uh, to, um, to see us uh, uh, address. Take care.